Get ready for some girl power. We are spotlighting the women breaking mountain bike barriers. Absolutely, it's a fish rich. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Oh. Yes, welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show <laughs> with me and Richard. Oh, gosh, you're excited today. I am excited, God. We've got a really good subject this week. It's oh, I love it. I love it. Go on. Well, I've just, I've been amazed. I mean, I've always loved watching the female racers mm -hmm. um, blow my mind because I used to be on a big team that had maybe one of the greatest female racers she of all was, time. She was, wasn't she? And Caroline Chausson, right? And I got to know her a little bit and I was amazed by this woman, right? She was flipping good. Yeah, she was incredible. She was so good on a bike, right? It was incredible. Um, and I loved seeing her put boy's nose out of joint. Well, yeah. good she and was. And then did she ever? Right, so I really, I really am a fan of, of the girls racing yeah. um, and riding in general. And I think we're in this moment, Rich. I don't know what you think. About some of the female riders we've got at the moment are just unbelievable. They're next level right now, right? It feels like they it. They are next level. And from a racing and free riding, like just all round, actually. Yes, yes. Of all ages. I want to put an example out there. Go on. Rider of the week at Hard. Now, Hardline Festival is... Yeah. Hard. It's really monstrous. Hard. Yeah, and it's hard for everyone. Like, really? Yeah, like, yeah. no matter who you are, everyone's like, this is the gnarliest thing in the world. And yet, the per like, Lou Ferguson. Yeah. She, Rider of the Week. Rider of the Insane. Week. Insane, like, the sense she was doing was yeah, nuts. I, I was mean, like, oh man, that's yeah. well good. I mean, it's unheard of for the girls to be r riding that track. And now we've got like a handful of them. Yeah. Just, just take, taking it on. Um, just with Tarni, Seagrave. Well. Yeah. Unbelievable skills, but not only in something like Hardline. At World Cups, we're seeing what seemingly, especially in someone like Valley Hole at the moment, like a strength in the, in her riding that just looks like, I don't know, something new. And then we've got in the cross country, unbelievable riding skills, of course the fitness. Yes. But the vibrancy in like someone like Puck Peters just Honestly, yeah. Blowing up. Like this, and, she and just... she's crossing over, right? Yeah. So she's coming over from like cyclocross and she's only, 21, if yeah. I remember correctly. She's super young, so yeah. she's and she's like throwing it at well, like... She must be 23, right? Because she's in elites, no? No, no, no you can still race in elites. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sorry, yeah, yeah, you still so, can. Yeah, so in world, she would be in... in yes. Under 20. I'd have to double check yeah. that, actually, because I don't think... We should know this. Okay, after a little check just there. A bit of research required. A bit of research. Um, so Puck Peters this year, she's going to have to ride world champs at under 23. Yes. Even I'm... though she's beating all the elites now. Beating everyone. She's oh literally beating everyone. So I feel sorry yeah. for a little for the under 23s. It reminds me slightly differently that in the downhill category, and I think it would have been 1995, oh, and Caroline Chauson won the event, Yeah. but only got the junior title. Oh, despite like she, fastest time of the she day. She had the fastest time and she uh, famously oh, wouldn't put the top on. Or she put it on and then took it off. She, was like, yeah, she did go. a little bit of a like, I don't want this one. Mm. I won the other one. Give I mean, they me. are next level at the moment, right? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, getting back to the current, yes. right? Um, <laughs> Yeah, we've got this amazing crop of riders, but like in things like Darkfest, hitting massive 90 foot jumps. 90 foot. That's a long way, isn't it? Oh my God. And you've got them hitting the big jumps at something like Hardline. Then at World, World Cup Downhill, you've just got this incredible, feels like a pool of just amazing talent at the moment. Just such good riders. That, right? So here though, curveball again. Yes. Because we're saying sort of they are like this depth and breadth of talent. Yeah but then someone can still come in and smash them. Yeah, well that's the paradox. So this is the curveball. This is the curveball. We feel like we're seeing a new generation of incredible female racers. Yeah. But then Rachel Afferton comes back after pretty much two years off and beats them all on her first race. How does that happen? She, I so mean, they're she... not faster, because she's not faster. She's no, not she's faster. Under her she's, own she's very quick, but she's not the fastest Rachel Afferton we've ever seen. No. She's just still, she, she's so good. She's still very good, but she, technically they haven't got any quicker. But do you think that's, I think that's good though, isn't it? Because it's like a driving force for the rest of the field to like, well, oh, I feel on, like the annoying. speed, I feel like the speed is not necessarily the marker. I mean, I'm just thinking, Valley Hole scrubbing that last jump yeah, that cool. at the bottom that of- That um, was a cool shot. Uh, what I mean, Val de Sol. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, it, like that's 
I don't know, something so refreshing about it. Yeah, like, yeah. Wow. The stuff like, you didn't you know, see like the female yeah, riders doing and, back in the day. And I feel like it's a richness of skills that I guess will mean faster times. And probably Rachel would say, oh, they're faster. <laughs> but, but, yeah. but I mean, she just had a wonder day. But it is interesting. Um, but I feel like we're just watching a moment where, yeah, just like the sport of women's mountain biking has just yeah. become... It's meant Rich, I love it. dense, uh, and just packed full of talent. I love it. I love it. Um, I guess we want to ask you guys out there, who's your favourite at the moment? Who's, who's, all right, go on, pick your favourite at the moment. Out of the female categories, who's the one that you're like, oh my God, that is unreal. Because I, I could think of a few. I really like... Paul, oh, I was going to say Pauline from but actually I don't think so, because she is just amazing. I think... Pauline from I get, I'm a bit bored. Yeah, because she's bit, bit she is boring. just amazing. Bit boring. Uh, I would say Puck Peters, having watched her yeah. this year, like literally watched her race, and I'm like, mm. she's 21. Yeah. She's come from cyclocross where she's dominated. Yeah. She's now literally won three World Cups. Unreal. She's leading the overall. Yeah. Like first year, like racing, like. I was thinking, I was thinking I'd have to be picking between like I still I still got a real soft spot for her amazing riding talent uh, like skill level in Yolanda Neff. Yeah, she's still yeah. she's just still a great bike rider. Technically, she's great. Um, and uh, here's one for you, editor, if you can find the clip. <laughs> um, she famously came on the Dirt Shed Show and and we asked her to say welcome to the Dirt Shed Show and she said the Dirt Shed Show. Hey there. I'm Yolanda Neff, and this is the Dirt Chat Show. <laughs> I like she, she just didn't get the name of it. It was hilarious. Um, and I, so I really think she's still amazing as a rider, but I think um, I think it's... Come on, you got to choose. Oh, I think Free, it's Valley, Valley Hole. It's Valley Hole. It is Valley, Valley Hole. for me is just like making it look. We've made some obvious choices there, haven't we, really? They are obvious, because <laughs> I was going to say like maybe very Sandler or... Yeah. Uh, but, I, but I just think Valley Hole is just exciting at the moment. So you guys tell us out there who you're watching, who's smashing it for you at the moment, who's making mountain biking oh, look, look out for, the maybe. best. Yes, and of Up course, and I mean, we didn't even get on. There's some junior races come up to Elite now, and it's just... Oh, it's packed! It is packed! <laughs> um, exciting stuff. I said I'd get over excited. Didn't yeah, I can tell. So Should good. we throw it so to the good. news? Yes, let's go, go to the news. Here. I'll calm down. <laughs> What's up everyone? Straight in this week with Norco's popular new iteration of the Fluid. Available now with a carbon front end which saves 600 grams of weight in comparison to the alloy models. There are three builds and a frame available, 3,300 Canadian for the frame and the top build coming in at 6,000 Canadian or 8,000 US dollars. Some new grips from 1UP, they've released their thick and thin grips in order to better cater for rider preference. Thick grips are 35mm at the thickest with a soft compound for a cushioned and comfy feel with a little bulge for your palm as well. Thin grips measure in at 29mm in diameter and are just a simple low profile design. The rider firm, the brand behind Hunt and Privateer have expanded their frame lineup by releasing a dirt jump bike. The Privateer DJ101 features a 6061 T6 lightweight alloy frame, traditional dirt jump geometry, gyro tab mounts and horizontal dropouts. It's available now, £399 for a frame and £999 for a complete bike, which, true to the brand's style, is pretty good value for money these days. Canyon have added their Keep It Stable system handlebar tensioning device to another bike. This time it's the Spectral CF8 Mullet getting the treatment. The bike is out on the Canyon website now and comes in a euro under 5k. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get to see the big show of Red Bull Hardline this year. The weather being tumultuous as it is, those jumps are gnarly enough without having to contend with insane crosswinds. So good it was cancelled for rider safety. However, we did get these brief looks at Kyle Strait and Joe Smith's Vetus prototypes. Definitely a bit of an upgrade in the looks department over the last Domina, in my humble opinion. We had French National DH results last week and the equally competitive fields in cross country have since been between the tapes, with Titouan Corot and Leoana Lecomte earning those French sleeves for the upcoming year. In the US National Downhill Champs, Luca Shaw and Anna Newkirk have won those coveted sleeves in Rock Creek. Enduro Champs happened at the same time and Amy Morrison and young Asa Vermet rode away with the wins there. Canadian downhill sleeves have gone to Bailey Goldston and Lucas Cruz, but the fastest time of the day went to junior rider Brock Hawes. All right, that's my time this week. Let's get over to Toph for the sixth thing. Right, this week's sixth thing has to be this new part from Brandon Seminar and SRAM. They 
They built and filmed at the Legacy Bike Park in Montana and this has to be like for sure one of the best trail bike edits from him so far. For me the sickest clips have to be like the land into the scrub on that lily pad. Um, the seat bounce corks free and then like the double double on those whoops because like that's not even a bike length like that's just ridiculous. Artistically I'm not really into the whole like one hand lander one hand bar out thing but it just goes to show how good he is that he can just like invent stuff like this. It's just like so creative. Pretty sure that's MBD for sure actually isn't it? And, it? and it must just feel so good. And as always such a heavy ender he does like this no foot one handed seat grab to no foot can and he just kicks it so good. Right that's my sickest thing this week time to go back to the shed. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Toff. Um, tell you what, we've actually got a girl on GMBN, <laughs> but she's not available today because she's out riding mountain bikes. She is out shredding with Blake. So we wanted to talk about female racers, and our female racer is off racing. Typical. But, Unbelievable. But Anna is a good model for some of the kit in the shop at the moment. We have got, talking girls, some amazing female-specific kit. Yeah, it's all shaped and everything. It's got like I mean, cuts I don't know much about girls' clothing. It's a slippery slope. We shouldn't go down, Mark. Yeah, but it's legit. It's, and it's good. It's Anna raves about it. Isn't Anna it? says it's great. It fits Anna. Amazing. It looks cool. I don't want to say anymore. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Okay, but check it out. Check it out. Right, <laughs> let's get on with hacks and bodges. And bodges, tags and bodges. Oh, you're so dependable, Rich. Tags and bodges. You always come in with it. I love it. Thank you. Um, first one I want to mention. It's not one that's been sent in. I saw this on Instagram. This is ridiculous. Outside Brendan making this is a, ridiculous. making a coffee whilst riding along. It's a coffee filter attached to his fork leg. I, I mean, it, I admire hack. this guy's ingenuity. Hack, great hack. Love Disgusting, because I don't like coffee. Right, let's get into some proper hacks and bodges. Can I just ask outside Brendan to make a tea You don't one? like a coffee? No, I don't drink coffee, it's me. Get out. Well, no, get then, out of I'm... the shed. You don't like coffee? No, it's horrible. Oh, I you're like a tea. Man. You're a tea man. Oh, right? Grey, innit? Yeah, yeah. Builder, innit? What, an Earl Grey? Yeah, if you, you're, went, you're if you went on site and said, yeah. I'll have an Earl Grey, please, there you're, 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 you're done for. Dead, no way, I was always a builder's dude. You, you wouldn't survive. I wouldn't be here now. We're off topic. We're off topic. Okay, first hack this week is from Nathan. It's ridiculous. I like this. Mm. Uh, basically, it's a uh, true your wheel device, um, but you can use it on your forks and your chainstay. Clever. Yeah, it's quite, it is actually quite clever. How really he's just useful. got a couple of bits of plastic and some bolts. Very I mean, simple. you can do it quite quickly with a zip tie. Yeah, but zip tie flex is. Yeah, I quite like that. I do actually think yeah. that's quite clever. Yeah, all right. So, Brendan, you're in the running. Mm -hmm. It's very clever. What's he what, made that out of? What's he in the running for, Mark? He, well, he's in the running for a lovely. Stunt mug. No, yeah. no, no. We're not stunt mugs, are we? No, we give that to the old caption guys. Oh, We're we do, giving yeah. this race top. It won't be this one. It'll be similar. Don't get Cosmovie. It'll be a, a GMBM race top, but this is just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> it happens to be my favourite. So, I'm on always, that one. Yeah, I love this, this print. This one. I love this print. So you'll be winning that. Could be you, Brendan, but it might not be because we have got... Alex. Oh, look at this. This reminds me. No, we it's are looking at, we're looking at Paul oh, next. To, oh. We're looking at Paul next. Um, oh, now, oh, this, looks like, this looks like the most amazing use of zip ties ever. Look at this. He's fixed a puncture with zip ties. I don't like this, Martin. Um, this reminds me, when I was young, my, my brother did this for me with uh, sellotape. He basically just wrapped my BMX inner tube in sellotape and put it back in the bike, what? and it stayed pumped up for how long? Guess Pump. how long I rode that bike just fixed with sellotape? 30 seconds. A year. Get on! Back and forwards to school. You tight ass. Why don't you just buy a new tube? I, I basically, well, I, I did have puncture repair patches, but they wouldn't stick for some reason. I think the glue was off or something. I don't know. I think you're off. I um, and I was poor back then and riding a rally burner. <sighs> you were poor. I like this from Paul, but maybe it's because I'm nostalgic. Rich, what do you think? Of it? No. It's, it's ugly. It's definitely <laughs> ugly. It's but it's a great use of zip ties. One. Um, next up, like this one, little plug made for your fork crown yeah. by Alex. And basically, you can shove stuff up there. You could put a banana up there. You could, <laughs> you could cut off a you could cut off a finger and store it there. You could basically put any small device. You could basically take dried spaghetti, put that up in there. The plug will hold it in place. Oh, yeah, the options idiot. the options are literally endless. Yes, but so are. Alex, I like that so one. Um, fortunately for me, I don't have to pick between the oh, plug, God. zip tie, or the. Uh, 
plastic... The truer. Truer. The truer. I don't know what to call that. The truing, truing device. The truing device. Uh, you do, Rich. So you're giving a race stop. Is it to Brendan? Is it to Alex? Or is it to... Not outside Brendan. Paul. Oh, well, I think um, I'm going to go... The, the, the zip tie one's horrendous. The plug one's got me slightly disturbed. So we're going for the wheel truing device. Who was his name? What, sorry, what was their name? It was Nathan. Congratulations, Nathan. Nathan, you are a winner. Well done. Race stop on its way to you. Enjoy. Whoa. Um, remember, it won't thing. be that one. We'll be getting that from that small hole it's fallen into in a moment. Uh, okay, right. We've got to keep going with the show. Because All right. Keep the pace up. Yeah, go um, on. Let's get into a caption contest. <laughs> Caption contest time. Uh, Rich, you're confused by this because you weren't on this week's show, last week's show. Yeah. Okay, the, the photo was this. It's the GT Zaskar, which is false. But go on. Go well, on. one, a Zaskar should be our tail. Well, exactly. And That's why, why we've got some pretty free captions for why it. Why are we hating on cheap bikes when normally we get hated for not having cheap bikes? Look. There's this very, your first statement was the clue, right? You can't bring back a name like a Zaskar that's full of legends. Zaskar. Zaskar. Zaskar? How do you say it? Zaskar. Zaskar. <laughs> How do you say it? Zaskar. Zaskar. Um, you can't bring back a name like that and suddenly decide it's a totally different type of bike. It's no, that has I got no Zaskar in it. So Let's anyway, hate on it then. We're not, oh, burn it. We're burn not, it with fire. We're not, Chuck stones in it. Hang it! Go! Just get rid of the thing, Martin! I'm with you, okay. but, but I don't think we're necessarily hating on it. Let's have a look at some of the captions. <laughs> I, I, I did, I loved it. Um, <laughs> Tim Garland says, GT really shook things up with this. Shock, shook. Yeah. That's pretty good, I like that. Go on, next one. J20 MTV. Uh, look what we built when Hans No Way Ray was out for lunch. Yeah, Hans is literally Raging. Flipping. Furious about Raging this side, but that. actually he probably isn't. He's like, <laughs> still paying me a lot of money. It's like like paycheck, it. Um Roddy White, he says, introducing the Zaskar FS. If cheese grips <laughs> were a frame, <laughs> this is what it would be. I don't like that one because that seems like you're dissing cheese grips. Of which you should. Wait they're... a minute. Uh, are we not all agreed that cheese grips is a genius no. idea? No. <laughs> what? I thought we were all agreed. Anyway, moving um, on. Why are uh, we still talking about cheese grips? Like five I years don't ago. know. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't even employed when they were a thing. Oh, they, they're still a thing. They're not a thing. Archetype Net. Uh, AI fail. When GT Bicycles asked the AI design team to join you, Zaska inspired <laughs> design. <laughs> Um, That's on brilliant. Point, that one, I that like that is one. brilliant. That one's really yeah. good. Um, next one, Lucky PSD. It used to be a hard tail. Now it's just a hard sale. Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, these get even better. So Pee Wee One Thousand or whatever. Uh, that's not a Zaska. It's a Disaska. <laughs> that's pretty good. Those oh. last three are absolute bangers. Can we just give free mugs away? What? So Ar archetype net. Lucky PSD yeah. and Pee Wee with free mugs away. Free stunt mugs on oh, their way. Wow. Honestly, wow. I want to give free mugs away because that's Absolutely just Absolutely amazing. Good. Thank you very much for sending those in. Um, that's good, that's isn't it? such a good All three of those are bangers. So good. Um, give us a caption for this photo. I just want to diss another bike now. <laughs> Here's another bit of a photo for you. Give us your caption for that in the caption contest down in the comments, and you could be winning yourself a stunt mug next week, or maybe three. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to get in trouble. For we went a bit three. rogue. Then, we should we? probably throw a couple more. Oh! He nearly caught it. Some things we liked this week, starting oh, out with, oh my God, the skills on this boy. Charlie Rolls doing mm -hmm. some trials riding, as he does. He does, yeah. What do you think of that, Rich? That's good, isn't it? You don't seem impressed enough. Well, it's, it's very bouncy. No, I, I don't really this is This is the problem with trials, is that you'll all we'll watch it and just go, oh, he can do that now. But, but that's Charlie, what, look at him, look at the control on his front wheel there. He's yeah. manoeuvring around on his front wheel around a circular rim. That's unbelievable cool skills. Helmet. Unbelievable skills. What's your um, road helmet? That's what you noticed. Honestly. Charlie, what are we going to do, eh? He's very swizzly, I'll give him that. Swizzly? Mm, good swizzles on anyway, the chat. Anyway, you, <laughs> you don't even deserve to watch that. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I, I love this dude. He's a funny guy. He's so funny. And he slams his 
It's wicked. <laughs> Look at that. Have you ever ridden like back in the no. year ridden a full sus when no. it's got no air in it? Look it's impossible. That. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that poor bike. That no, poor... No. Normal MTB definitely worth a follow on Instagram. Um, some great things we like. I did week. like those. Can't believe you didn't love the trials more. I didn't say I didn't love it. You I did. said I didn't you like did. it. <gasps> No, I did like it. But do you, the best one was the kid riding his bike for the first time. I thought that's just pretty cool. Some great stuff. Yeah. Um, right, let's take a look at what we've got to offer you guys this weekend. What's coming up on the channel? There we go. Right, we have got some great stuff for you this week. Um, Many I definitely, great I definitely want to highlight um, Hank's uh, gnarly training for mm. Mega Avalanche. Um, Mad man, isn't he? Yeah, it's good great. Lads. Good yeah, lads. I mean, the title says aggressive riding skills. So yeah, uh. let's see Hank being put through his paces. I also took him out on a bit of a trials lesson as well, yeah. which will be coming up. And uh, he was remarkably good. Yeah, confidence, yeah, eh? Confidence does a lot. So um, I'm going to throw it over to tech and wire drivetrains on the right-hand side. We don't know. I just don't know. We don't know. I just don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Do you oh, know? I don't know. Joey? We don't know. Max, do you know? Oh, hang on. Why has that done that? That's clever. Look, if I make it bigger, it actually makes it smaller. If I make it smaller, it actually makes it bigger. Like there's a... Ooh. Carry on. Is it all right if we carry on? Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Not this show we're filming. Today? <laughs> Are we doing yeah. that now? Yeah, what, what, could, what else could we be doing right now? Oh, there are so many things we could be doing right now. Why, why would you sit in this position for anything other than filming a show? Hi, Rich. How are you today? Yeah, just have a chat. Just sit here like this, both looking in the same direction. Yeah. You're weird. Bloody, you going? Bloody builders. They're all the same. <laughs> right, <laughs> let's get into the bike vault. Um, we're starting with an absolute... Banger um, from Mark. Yeah. Look at this. He's got himself a new <laughs> Atherton AM170M. Um, catchy name. Yeah. Athertons <laughs> could work on the name of their bikes. They really could. Yeah, I wonder where they got that name from. <sighs> Doesn't make sense to me. No. Um, and uh, he also got to meet Dan Atherton. So I guess Dan handed oh. it over to him. Went on a lads weekend to pick up the new ride. We can't do anything other than ring a bell on an Atherton, can we? Because that's that it's is no, definitely a a suit. That's definitely a suit. <laughs> Yeah, go on him. Very nice. Diffy Lackster. bike. Dovey, divvy. Dovey. Divvy, dovey. You're bike a divvy. Bike. Look at this um, old school beauty. Oh, yeah. What is blast that? The, that's a Mondraker, mate. That is oh, a it's an old XR. school Mondraker. 16, yeah. I mean, I say blast from the past. It just looks a bit dated, yeah. even though it's only. I love, I love the massive fail by Mondraker not being able to get their whole name you on. You can't even read it. Like, they can't make. That's why their bikes are getting longer, <laughs> so they can fit, fit their the whole name. name on. Fit their name on the <laughs> down tube. Yes. Um, it was the era when everyone had like. Yeah. A lot of these anodized spank wheels as well. Yes, yes. Do you remember yeah. the blue ones, purple ones? There was all sorts. Yeah, no, it's a good looking bike still. Gotta um, say. From Gloucestershire. Um, yeah, 2016. It's a nice one. Oh, really? wow. Only a nice. Oh, go on then. Work, Stephen. Oh, Super yeah. nice. Uh, next up, Ooh, we've got a wow. Yeti. I, I tell oh. you what, this is interesting. It's, it's a vintage Yeti arc from. Um, it's kind of. I don't know what year that would be, but it's from Tom. What year would we say that is? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's a special year for Yeti. It doesn't look like one of their really original bikes. Um, no, it's, I'm, it's that mid mid era type thing, isn't it? I'm I'm not often underwhelmed by a Yeti, especially in the Got perfect no Yeti colour. But Got no bar plug. It's just unsafe. It's just an unsafe bicycle to ride. There's no bar plug. <laughs> it cannot get a super nice. It literally is can't. that a new rule? <laughs> a new rule in the bike vault. No bar safety first. No bar plug. No bell. Um, <laughs> sorry, Tom, but it's, it's nice. Next up, uh, I uh, quite like this. This is great, a cool picture and a cool photo. bike. Great photo. Uh, 22's Trek slash seven factory orange. Some people think Treks are really boring. Thoughts? No, they're incorrect. All of those people. Okay, so we're still on. This is fire. Um, it's Trek slash from Gavin. I'm giving. I oh, just this great photo. Great it's, bike. I can't oh, not ring yeah. this bell. I can't. Do you know not what? I, I like tires with like the big logos around them and stuff. Go on. Give her a ring. Ding dong. Uh, next up, we oh, have got. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Uh, a 2023 Marino. Marino Custom Enduro bike. I've got um, a few problems here, Mark. Oh really? I yeah. love a bit of steel. Yeah, it's that's cool. not a problem. Go on. Well, you've got like this burgundy frame yeah. with the blue 
graphics, yeah. but then you've got a red chainring with orange pedals. Oh, don't go. Oh, it is. It is, does take in some got, funny lines. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. You got, like the little bits of blue up top. Yeah. I'm not sure, Mark. I'm, I'm on the fence, so I'm gonna let you decide. Oh, there's no way I can't ring. That's a that's a super nice bike. The colours shocking, but it's a, lo it's a lovely you. looking bike. Um, and that was in uh, Lincoln. In Lincoln, so where would that be in the U in the UK, mate? Oh, okay. Lincoln NH. Oh, no one puts it like that. Yeah, doesn't doesn't not written. We don't know where it is. Where are you, Steve? Nathan, let us know. Don't hey use, Siri, don't where's use Lincoln bit. NH? New Hampshire. There we go. Thanks, Siri. So it's in the States. So it's in the States, yeah. Fancy Lincoln. New Hampshire. It's not just normal Lincoln, it's fancy Lincoln. And it's the newer one. Oh. It's not the old Hampshire. Who'd want the old Lincoln? No, I mean, it's, have you it's been the there? same Lincoln, but in the New Hampshire. Because there's a Lincoln in the old Hampshire. Does that make sense? Or is it a new Lincoln in a new... I mean, it's all new, isn't it? Maybe he's actually doing it from a car. A I mean, Lincoln we basically car. went over and took that place. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. The history books are just full of no joke. They don't teach you nothing anymore. Full of awful. <laughs> just full of awful. Let's go to anyway, New don't Gloucestershire. Use, don't use, uh, Joey, don't use any of that. I use some of it. That we were talking about. Just use a bit of it. Here we go. Next up. That's um, Tony. Tony the Robin. This is barely a bike. <laughs> but I do like and appreciate getting a shot of a Robin sat on your grip. Yeah. Your and bike. I like the Garmin mount he's put on the down tube. Do you? I actually, yeah, because it tucks them out of the way a little bit there. Yeah, I, I hit mine on my knee sometimes. Oh, you're such a crybaby. I yeah? think Tony's done That's a great job. So it's, it can't though. get a belt. It's not a whole bike, but it's an appreciated <laughs> shot. Any wildlife you can get with your bike is yeah. going to do well. <laughs> and lastly, we've got Chris's Orange 4. From Afan in Wales. Took the Orange 4 for a tour. Be honest, are you a fan of orange bikes? Do you know, this is my thought on orange. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> okay. Go on, what's your. Uh, go, I, I, so, I, I, uh, wait, of... we... Orange in one word or noise, go. Yay! Oh, okay. Yeah, I love orange. Yeah, they're great. Oh, really? great well, stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I can yeah. bring all day. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is super nice. And we are out the bike pole <laughs> this week. Shame. Shame. Well, um, should we theme it for next week? You love a theme. I do don't love you? a theme. Orange can't... bikes theme for next week. All oranges. Or should we have it orange bikes and orange bikes? Yes. I want to see orange bikes <laughs> and orange bikes next week, people. That is our theme for the bike vault. So demanding. Um, <laughs> love it. Um, that's all for this week. But before I go, I want to remind you, I really want to hear your comments um, down below about who's the top female racer at the moment, because it's not like those times where there was one. There's bloody loads of them. So who's your favourite at the moment? Let's give them a shout out in the comments down below uh, and appreciate the great riding that they're doing. Um, yeah. And of course, make sure you get involved with the uploader. I want to see your hacks and bodges. I want to see your bike in the bike vault because we've got something to talk about. Orange, um, orange. And let's have some captions as well. Yeah, they were bad. Um, this show today. has been... Holy moly, that's an incredible. Oh We're going to see you next week on the Dirt Shed Show from us. It's goodbye.